Welcome back lighting friends, Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions talking about the Cognito Lighting Control Console. In the last video we talked about editing cues, updating them so that they look different next time you run them and we also talked about changing some of their timing properties like split times and uh, attribute timing. As promised in this video we're going to talk about linking cues and then looping cues. Linking cues is jumping around in the in the playlist and looping cues is adding cues so they automatically follow on and create loops. So let's get right to it. In my visualizer here, we're running the playlist that we've been working with in this series. So we're sitting in the queue called She Sings right now. We can see that we have a uh, bright fr front light on our lead singer. If I go into the next cue, which is the bass solo, we see that the cyclorama turns to red. That's why we called it bass and red. And then we jump right back to her singing and singing the verse. And if you go into the next cue, we have a very moody blue look where we take out the front lights on the band completely and the cyclorama goes blue. In this scenario, what we're going to do is back up from... Um, the bass and what we want to do is go right from this bass solo to that moody blue look. So if we highlighted the cue called bass uh, and we look at its properties when we go to the second page by pressing this down arrow we see that the link is none. Now that is the default. It means that it doesn't link to no cues. Obviously when you go from the bass, the next uh, cue will be the verse and that is why it has the little green arrow here. So when you press the green go button, you will actually go into the verse. So that is essentially what link none means. What we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the properties of this cue, the bass cue, the, the, the one that is currently highlighted with the red outline. And what we're going to do is press the edit button. And when we do that, we see the properties for the stage show base queue, which has the red psych. And we see that its link is currently none. Now, if you roll the green wheel, you can see that it will go through all the different cues in this playlist. And there we are, the verse would be the next cue. And what we want to do is jump right to the blue moody look. So we roll the green wheel until we get the blue moody look. And then we press edit to close that. So now you see automatically the little green next cue indicator, the little green play icon goes right to blue. So now, while we're sitting in this bass look, and then we hit the go button, we skip right over the verse, and we go to that moody blue look. So that's how you can link in different places in the playlist without changing the order, as we showed in the last video, or deleting cues altogether. So let's undo that. What we're gonna do now is just press edit, and we're gonna roll this green wheel, until it says none and then next time we run so we can just triple click on here that takes us to the base look now we're back to normal we hit go we go to the verse and then we hit go again and we'll go to this moody blue look now carrying on that is a discussion about linking now we're going to use the feature of linking as well as looping and automatically following on. Looping is when you link higher up in the list instead of jumping down. It uses the exact same property, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the properties called follow. And you'll notice, as I highlight this blue queue that we're currently in, the follow mode is to wait for the go button to be pressed. And that's what happens every time you record a queue. It just sits in the queue, and waits for stage management to say stand by on blue and then go blue and you would hit the go button and it will go to it. What we're going to do now is we're going to automatically have Cognito follow on to the next queue. So let's edit the blue queue. 
and we notice that the yellow wheel now is the tweaker for uh, uh, the follow mode and it is currently wait for go what we're going to do is we're going to make that follow after fade it's the first guy you come to when you when you roll the wheel once so that means if we were in verse triple click on it and when we hit the blue cue it will follow as soon as the fade is complete so let's see what happens here so we're in the verse we go into the blue it's a five second count one two three four five and it automatically goes into the amber look on the psych now the amber property is also wait for go so what we're going to do is we're going to change the amber as well to follow after fade and just jumping right ahead here, I'm going to take this pink cue and we're going to change it to follow after fade. And one other thing, we're going to change its link now to go up to blue. So now when we go into the pink look on the psych, you'll notice that it follows immediately after its fade and it will go up to the blue and the blue will follow on to the amber the amber will carry on and follow to the pink and the pink will follow right back and link to the blue now while this is going on what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the main property page and i'm going to change the fade time from five seconds to something a little bit more dynamic so let's just change this and the fade time here we will change to one second we will go to the pink and do the same using the yellow wheel to change the five to a one and the pink we're going to edit that oh sorry amber there we go so now all of these cues are one second so now we have on the stage something that looks quite more exciting now what happens if you hit go here because they're just going looping looping going and they'll do this all day long unless you do something so we notice that after um if i turn off this little indicator here the cue list won't automatically roll so that the the uh the the current cue is in the middle i'll just show you this here so it's automatically always putting the the current cue in the middle so if i turn off this red guy then i can move freely through this list so that's what that's all about short little discussion of this now if i hit press go now it's going to jump to the first cue after this loop cycle and we see we're going blue amber pink blue amber pink if i press go i'm going to go to the verse which is a nice five second transition so it doesn't matter where i am in the queue looping whenever i press go i'm going to go to the verse now what you saw there was quite a dynamic um one second crossfade but it was constant it was always doing the follow right after the fade had completed what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take my blue my amber my pink my blue what i'm going to do is i'm going to change its fade time to zero but instead of follow after fade what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i want you to follow in time and you'll see that the red wheel says what is that follow time now being zero it wouldn't be very interesting because it would just it would be so fast you wouldn't see it so let's change the follow in time to one second and we're done on the blue cue now we go to the amber we're going to change its follow time to one second and change its fade time to zero this is going to be much more dynamic so now we're going to change the pink's fade time to zero and we're going to change its follow to follow in time and we're going to change that to one second as well so now we have zero counts on blue zero count on amber zero count on pink but if you look at their follow time they're going to follow in one second follow in one second follow in one second and link back to blue so let's just press go on this uh 
we'll uh, start back in the verse. So here we are, we're standing by for our chase. We go into blue, we go bang, bang amber, bang pink, bang blue, bang pink, amber, bang pink. And it will do this now. Do, 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 do. Now if you want, you can go and adjust the times on those. You can make it sort of syncopated. So let's go to this amber and we're going to edit that and instead of following in uh, one second I'm going to hold down the shift key here and we're going to make it 0.6 second follow time so now we hang out in the amber just a little bit less than the pink and the blue and then when we're happy with all of this and we're done this you know little musical break say it's a little drum thing and then when we press go we go right to the verse doesn't matter where we press go so that is a discussion on linking linking cues so that they're out of order in your playlist and looping which is changing the follow time to follow after fade or follow in a specific time and then linking back up to somebody higher pressing the go button to get out of that loop and uh, next time what we're going to talk about is using two playlists running on the left and the right and using a macro or a cue action in this list to trigger something special happening in this list. So I hope you join me next time. This is Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions.